guys, and thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, how we got our medication in prison, how they took care of uh, our medical needs. So there was a question asked regarding uh, prison and um, what if we got sick and how they took care of us. So... The prison has a really good medical program. One thing the state wants to do is take good care of us as far as our medical needs. You'd be surprised. Prison has a lot of really good services. And they just, they offer a lot in prison. <laughs> Except for the food. <laughs> Except for the food. I don't know how to get away with that. But the prison, they do have a hospital. They do have a hospital and they do have a medical office. If for any reason you get sick, um, they will do like a 911. And they shut the whole prison down. Alarm goes off. And regardless of where you're at, you're supposed to sit on the ground um, to allow the paramedics to come through. Because there is a hospital, so the paramedics are at the hospital at all, all times. So if there's an emergency, then the, the paramedics will come and get you regardless of what time of day or, or night it is. And then they take you over to the hospital. For any reason, if you need to stay overnight, they will keep you overnight at the hospital. <clears throat> also, they will send you out to the local hospital. You don't want to do that. You don't want to. It's just, I've heard of horror stories. Well, kind of like how it's really embarrassing to go to the local hospital because they do have to shackle you up. And then you go to the hospital. Oh, yeah, I did go to the hospital once. Yeah, but you, you go to the hospital and people are looking you, looking at you like, oh, my God, that's a prisoner. People really don't understand prisoners, inmates. They just think, like, everybody is a criminal or a bad person. So they kind of looking at you like, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, my God, inmate, a criminal. <laughs> So I just heard some stories about people going to the um, hospital and just not really a good experience being all shackled up like that. Now, when I was in fire camp, I did go to the prison. I did go to the prison. <clears throat> I mean, did go to prison. When I was in prison, I did go to the hospital because... <laughs> I passed out on a mountain. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. But I passed out on a mountain, so I had to go to the hospital. And the one thing about fire camp is they don't treat you like an inmate. They don't treat you like an inmate, so thank God I wasn't shackled up or anything. But, um,. They did inform the hospital that I was an inmate, and um, so the whole hospital was aware that they had an inmate in there, and so, you know, the the, the doctors and the nurses, and, you know, they was kind of looking at me, you know, like, oh, God, an inmate, you know, but, but inside the prison, there is a medical office, and for instance, if you have pain in your stomach or anywhere something happens in you can you can fill out is a piece of paper which they call a copay and stick it in the medical box there's a medical box in front of the medical office so you stick it in there and then within a day then um you would get something in the mail saying, okay, you have an appointment tomorrow. But for any reason, if it's an emergency, then you could always tell 
in each housing unit there's an officer so you can tell the officer hey i have an emergency and they will call 911 come get you immediately but if i mean your stomach is cramping i mean whatever you hurt yourself for any reason or you think you have a really bad cold or a yeast infection or um one time my eyes swelled up like like this real big like ah but um, they were closed. It was the weekend, so I had to just walk around with a big eye. But for any reason, if you feel like you need to go to the medical office, you can. And once you go in there, they take really good care of you. There are doctors. There's lots of doctors. Well, maybe like 10 doctors all together and according to your last name. And that's the doctor that you see. They're really strict about... Um, what they're going to give you a lot of women are addicted to drugs and so they might go in there and lie and complain about um a lot of more pain than they really have to try to get drugs so the doctor kind of like really strict and really don't believe you when you do go in there and say okay i'm in pain but a lot of women in prison are on meds and um, a lot of women in prison are selling their meds but the doctors um, aren't really good or you know most of the doctors <laughs> were Asian doctors and you know they thought everybody was overweight oh you're overweight you have high blood pressure that's why you're overweight you need to lose some weight <laughs> but, um, but they do they take really good care of you if you um, if you spring something, you will get a cast. They will wrap it up. You will get medication for infections or um, whatever you need. They have it. They have a medical office right there on the, in the prison, and they do have a hospital. And there are women who stay overnight at the hospital. And the prison, they're pretty good as far as taking care of us and our, our medical needs. Mm pap smears they do do the pap smears um once a year um um the breast um exam they do do that anything that you need they will do it they will um take care of you so that was a good question so thank you for asking the questions and you guys remember if you have any questions please feel free to ask and i'll be more than happy to do a video okay so until the next video peace